Welcome to Signing Day coverage, presented by West 10 Media, where we showcase some of the best student athletes securing their college future. Remember to like, subscribe, and if you hadn't already, hit that notification bell. Enjoy the video. Sellers Jr. and we're here with signing day with Abby West. Congratulations, our reigning female athlete of the year. So this is not no surprise. 
But we were wondering at the Millington Star, which sport would Abby West sign in? Would it be basketball or softball? So the shirt doesn't give it away. And maybe if you saw the early part of this video, you know what it is. Because you saw Coach Sapatello, but tell us which sport and why. I chose softball. I think I chose it mainly because I liked it more. And I think I have more fun in it than I do basketball. Wow. Now, I did talk to your mom earlier today. She thought you were having a lot of fun out there playing basketball, too. So, what, I guess, you know, what do you like about basketball? But what made you just say, hey, I, at the college level, I want to be a softball player? I think just the different, like, atmosphere. It's kind of, yeah. Okay. It's kind of back and forth. So it was a tough decision. Yeah. What some of the schools are looking at you in this process? What some of the softball interests you got? What some of the basketball interests you got? Softball. Mostly with softball. Now, have you heard from the Dyersburg State coaches in basketball up there? I have not. I'm pretty sure they might look you up once they know you're on campus. <laughs> but, but before you head off to college, you do have a senior year to complete here at TRA. Basketball is right around the corner as we have this conversation. A thousand point score, um, a couple sub state appearances, some unfinished business, right? Mm -hmm. So, what's your goal for basketball this year? Just to work harder and to work with their coach even more because he's new. I think he's all intimidated by him. <laughs> coach Cedric Anderson, okay. Well, uh, he's known on this campus. He got the boys to the state championship game, and now people expect that out of y'all. Um, Looking at the team the last couple of years, a lot of raw talent, a lot of youth now has matured. Y'all were on the brink, record winning streak. Y'all the last team in the state to lose a basketball game last year. Y'all had a bunch of accolades, but what do you think Coach Anderson is going to try to get out of y'all to get to that next step? I think he's going to push us a lot harder. Like, he's going to get it out of us. Like, he's going to make us work. All right, well, I'm sure you're going to be happy about that in the long run because defensively, you're like a one girl trap at midcourt. They would come up with the ball, and you'd be like, which way you go? Which way you go? You just take the ball away from them. And now you're going to have some help up there at that line to help you defensively. But now let's jump over to softball. You were a bat in the middle of the lineup. You went to that coveted center field spot. I think you see a picture of you online where you're robbing a home run. You hit your share of home runs. Talk about what do you do best out there in the softball field? I think hitting I do best because, like, I just, I don't think about it. I just do it. Right, so what about that out there on defense? You just let your natural speed and ability take over? Yeah. But you got a, you know, a, a natural skill set you got from your mom and your dad. Anybody met them would see the length and the long arms. But I think another important family member was Emily, your big sister, who just graduated up at UT Martin. Mm -hmm. how, how important was having her through this process when you came in as an eighth grader, having your big sister there to kind of help guide you through this? She helped me because she kind of knew more about it than I did. And we kind of went through like starting, basically starting high school together. And so she kind of made it a little bit easier because I had somebody to talk to. And now, mom and dad told me the truth, y'all used to fight at home all the time. So. Oh yeah. yeah so y'all did, where y'all were competitive, <laughs> to say the least. But now she's going through her first year of college. What did you hope she gives advice to you on how to handle college? How's things going? Has she talked to you about, you know, college life? She said it's kind of hard, but she's doing nursing. So okay. that, I'm not doing that. Okay. But she just kind of says like, Give, do early classes. She really likes the early classes because she just gets them out of the way. All right. And a little plug for Dyersburg State, they have a great nursing program, by the way. Okay, um, but let's wrap up this interview. Um, it's about you and your day, and you earned this achievement. Like I said, once again, 1,000 point score in basketball, top three in all those categories in softball. What do you hope is the legacy of Abby West once you walk across that stage at, at First Baptist Church in May when it's all said and done? Hopefully, you get ready to go up to Murfreesboro. Oh, yeah. play in the state tournament, but what do you hope your legacy is by the time May is said and done? Kind of like just to know that that people can set like have goals and they can achieve them. Hey, and maybe you are the goal, but once they look up in the, the record book, I gotta be Abby West. But we appreciate you taking time and congratulations once again on Head to Dyersburg State. Thank you.